Hello, welcome to the video lecture on number system part 2. So, in the previous video lecture, we have seen the basics of number system and we have seen how to convert any base to a decimal number conversion. In this video lecture, we will see how to convert a decimal number to other base conversion. So, the conversion of a decimal number to any radix involves two steps. The first step we have to convert the integer part and in second step we have to convert the fractional part. The conversion of integer part is accomplished by successive division method. In this, we repeatedly divide the integer part of the decimal number by the radix r until the quotient is 0. The remainder of each division becomes the numeral in the new radix. The remainders are taken in the reverse order to form a new radix number. So this is the first part. The next part is to convert the fraction part. The conversion of the fractional part is accomplished by a successive multiplication method. Here the numbers to be converted is multiplied by the radix of the new number. To produce a product term which will have an integer part and fractional part. The integer part of the product becomes the numeral in the new radix number. The fractional part is again multiplied by the radix. And the process is repeated until the fractional part is 0 or until the new radix number is carried out to the sufficient digits. Now we will see how to convert a decimal number to binary. First we will take the integer part. So integer part is converted to binary by successive division method. Since the radix of binary is 2, we are going to repeatedly divide this decimal number by 2. So, divide it by 2, so the quotient is 125, remainder is 0. Again, dividing it by 2, quotient is 62, remainder is 1. Again, dividing it by 2, quotient is 31, remainder is 0. Again, dividing it by 2, quotient is 15, remainder is 1. Dividing it by 2, quotient is 7, remainder is 1. Again, dividing it by 2, quotient is 3, remainder is 1. Again, dividing it by 2, quotient is 1, remainder is 1. We cannot proceed further, so we are going to stop here. And now we are going to move in the reverse order. That will give the binary equivalent of this decimal number. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 is the binary equivalent of this decimal number. So now we have to convert the fractional part. Converting a fractional part is accomplished by successive multiplication method. Repeatedly multiplying the fraction by the radix. If radix is 2, so multiplying it with the radix. So, 0 0.4375 multiplied with 2. We will get 0 0.870. So, here the integers, they will become the numerals in the new radix. In the fractional part, we are going to multiply. We are going to here neglect the integer. We are going to take only the fractional part. 0 0.870. Again, repeatedly multiplied by the radix. Multiplied by 2. That will result in 1.75. Again, here we are going to neglect the integer. Take only the fractional part. 0.75 multiplied by 2. This is equal to 1.5. Neglect the integer, take only the fractional part. 0.5 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 1.0. We cannot proceed further. So, again multiplying it by 2, that will result in only 0, 0.0. So, we cannot proceed further. We are going to stop here. And we are going to move in this direction, downward direction. Take only the integers. That will be the binary equivalent of the decimal number. 0 0.0111. So, this is how we convert decimal number to a binary number. Next, we will see how to convert decimal to octal equivalent. So, here again, since it is integer part, integer part we are going to convert first. So, it is followed by successive division method. Successively dividing the decimal number by the radix. Since the radix of the octal is 8, so we are going to repeatedly divide the decimal number by 8. So, dividing 250 by 8, the quotient will be 31 and remainder is 2. Now, again, dividing the quotient by 8, the quotient is 3, remainder is 7. We cannot proceed further. So, we are going to stop here and we are going to move in the reverse direction. 3, 7, 2 is the octal equivalent of the decimal number. Now, we will see how to convert the fractional part. Take the fractional part separately. Again, accomplished by successive multiplication method. Since the radix is 8, multiply the fraction with 8. So, that will be equal to 3.5. So, you neglect the integer. Take only the fractional part. Take only 0.5. Multiply it with 8. It is equal to 4.0. So, we cannot proceed further. So, we are going to stop here. We are going to move in the downward, downward direction. 
So 0 0.34 is the octal equivalent of the decimal number. Next we will see how to convert the decimal to hexadecimal equivalent. Again integer part. So, to convert integer part, we follow successive division method. Since the radix of hexadecimal is 16, we are going to repeatedly divide the decimal number by 16. So, 250 divided by 16, the quotient is 15, remainder is 10. So, we cannot proceed further. So, we are going to stop here and we are going to move in the reverse direction. The decimal equivalent of 15, sorry, the hexadecimal equivalent of 15 is F and the hexadecimal equivalent of 10 is A. So, you are going to write F A. So, and this is how you convert a decimal number to hexadecimal equivalent. Now, we will see how to convert the fractional part. So, fractional part, it is accomplished by successive multiplication. So, multiplying it with the radix. Radix is 16. So, we want to multiply this with 16. which is equal to 7.0. We cannot proceed further. So, we are going to stop here. So, the hexadecimal equivalent of this decimal number is 0 0.7. Next, we will see how to convert. Any number system with base x to base y. So, to convert a number system with base x to base y, it involves two steps. Firstly, we are going to convert base x system to a decimal number system. So, we are going to convert base x to base 10. And now, we are going to convert that decimal number to base y. This is illustrated with this example. So, now here we are going to convert this octal number to hexadecimal number. So, to convert octal number to hexadecimal number, initially it will involve two steps. Initially, we have to convert this octal to decimal. Then that decimal number should be converted to hexadecimal number system. So, to convert an octal to decimal system, we have to multiply the digits of the octal by their positional weights. Since the octal number system, the radix is 8, we are going to multiply it with 8 power 0, 8 power 1, 8 power 2. And for the fractional part, it is 8 power minus 1, 8 power minus 2. And now summing up all this, that will result in the decimal equivalent of the octal number. Now we have to convert this decimal to hexadecimal. So now you take the integer part separately. We go with successive division method. Divided by 16. Since the radix of hexadecimal is 16, divide it with 16. So we will get the integer part. Now again for fractional part, we have to follow successive multiplication method. Multiplying it with the radix 16. So that will result in the hexadecimal equivalent of the octal number. Next we will see how to convert a binary number to octal number. So to convert the binary number to octal number, again we have two steps here. Since the base of the binary number system is 2 and the base of the octal number system is 16, 3 bits of a binary number is equal to 1 octal digit. 2 power 3 is 8, so 3 bits in a binary number it will represent 1 digit octal in octal. So, we are going to start from the binary point. We are going to start from the decimal point and make group of 3 bits on both sides of the decimal point. If some bits are less while making the group of 3 bits, then include required number of zeros on extreme sides. So, it involves 2 steps. So, here we will see how to convert this binary number to octal. So, this is the decimal point. We are going to make groups of 3 bits. Uh, this part is the integer part and this part is the fractional part. So, for the integer part, we are going to move in this direction. And for the uh, fractional part, we are going to move in this direction. Right? So, we are going to move in this direction. We are going to make group of 3 bits. The same way, for fractional part, we are going to move in this direction. And we are going to make group of 3 bits. Right? So, in, in this group, it has only 1 digit. So, we are going to include zeros here. The same way this group has only two digits, so we are going to include zeros here. Now we are going to write the octal representation for the binary digits. So octal representation for 0, 0, 1 is 1, for 1, 0, 1 it is 5, for 1, 1, 0 it is 6, point, 0, double 1 is 3, 0, 1, 0 is 2. So this is how you convert a binary number to an octal number. Now we will see how to convert a binary to hexadecimal equivalent. Since the base of the binary is 2 and base of the hexadecimal is 16, so 4 bits of a binary number is equal to 1 hexadecimal digit. So 2 power 4 is 16. So here, again we are going to follow 2 steps. In the first step, so since it is hexadecimal number, 2 power 4 equal to 16. 4 bits will make 1 hexadecimal digit. So we are going to group 4 bits on both sides of the decimal part. 
and then we are going to write x are decimal equivalent for each and every group separately. So this is the decimal point. So for the integer part, we are going to move in this direction, and for the fractional part, we are going to move in this direction. We are going to make group of four bits now. And if the group contains uh, any bits less, we are going to add zeros on both the sides. Okay. So this group has only two digits, so we are going to put two zeros here. And this group has only one digit, we are going to put three zeros here. Now we are going to write the hexadecimal equivalent for this binary numbers. Hexadecimal equivalent of zero zero one zero is two, and for triple one zero it is e. Zero one zero is six, and for one triple zero it is eight. So that is how you convert a binary number into a hexadecimal number. Now we will see how to convert octal number to binary number. So to convert octal number to binary number, then uh, again, so base of octal is eight and base of binary is two. So each octal digit is equal to three bit binary equivalent. So here we are going to represent octal number in binary. We are going to take each and every digit of octal separately and just write the binary equivalent of the octal. We are going to represent it in three bits. So to convert this number. So the binary equivalent of one is zero zero one. We are going to write in groups of three. Again, for four, the binary equivalent is one double zero. For five, the binary equivalent is one zero one. For two, it is zero one zero. For three, it is zero one one. So we are going to neglect these two ones, and if any ones are present at the last, they can also be neglected. So this is how you convert an octal number to a binary number. Next, we will see how to convert an octal number to a hexadecimal number. So conversion of octal to hexadecimal number it involves two steps. First step we have to convert octal number to binary number, and in the second step we convert binary to hexadecimal number. So we'll see that with an example. So here we are going to convert this octal number to hexadecimal. So what we are going to do is first we are going to write a binary equivalent of this octal number. Then from the binary equivalent you are going to write the hexadecimal equivalent of the binary number. So to find the binary equivalent of this octal number we are going to just take each and every digit separately and we are going to write the binary equivalent of the digit in group of 3 next to convert this binary equivalent to hexadecimal equivalent we are going to take integer part separately fractional part separately group them in groups of 4 and then we are going to write the hexadecimal equivalent for that so this is how we convert so binary to hexadecimal next we will see how to convert hexadecimal to binary So to convert hexadecimal to binary, the base here is 16 and the base here is 2, which means a hexadecimal digit will be equivalent to four bits of a binary number. So to convert hexadecimal number to binary, so initially we are going to represent the hexadecimal number as a binary equivalent in groups of four. So the binary equivalent of six is zero one one zero. Binary equivalent of five is zero one zero one. Binary equivalent of four is zero one double zero. Binary equivalent of three is double one double zero. We are going to write the binary equivalent of this hexadecimal. Now we are going to convert this in groups of. We are going to write it in groups of four. And if we have any zeros in front or at the last, that can be neglected. This is how you convert hexadecimal to binary. Next, we will see how to convert hexadecimal to octal. To convert hexadecimal to octal, we have to follow two steps. To convert hexadecimal to binary, then the second step is to convert binary number to octal. We we'll see that in this example, we we'll see how to convert hexadecimal to octal. So first, we have to write the binary equivalent of this hexadecimal number. So take each and every digit separately, represent them in groups of four bits. Binary equivalent of four bits. Now to convert that binary equivalent to octal, make groups of three bits, and just write the octal equivalent of those bits. So this is how we convert hexadecimal number to a octal equivalent. So now we have seen different conversion of how to convert any number system to the other number system. Thank you for watching this video.